Hi, Ramya. Thank you for joining us here to give us a sense of what's happening uh, with the World Economic Forum 2023. So this forum is held really against a polycrisis context. So can you tell us what's on the top of the agenda and what the World Economic Forum is doing in that context? Well, thank you very much. Uh, the forum is happening, as you rightly say, it's happening in a very complicated context. And the theme of the whole meeting is cooperation in a fragmented world. So one of the most important topics we're talking about is how do we bring better cooperation in this geopolitical situation we find ourselves in? And naturally relating to that, we are thinking about how is this affecting economically different countries around the world? So economic recovery is on top of everyone's mind. Last but not least, everyone's really concerned about the progress that we need to make towards climate goals. Businesses, government, civil society, all are together trying to figure out what urgent solutions can we come up with to make progress. Thank you. And in this context, what's the overall sentiment of the role of business, you know, within maybe the larger population? How can business contribute at the WEF and beyond to solving these problems? The World Economic Forum just published the Global Risk Report. And in that, we outline some of the short-term and long-term risks for society and for the world at large. And if you look at the real short-term issues, it's cost of living uh, crisis and inflation-related issues that have propped up in society. So it's something really important for us to address right away. And then a second issue everyone's grappling with is solutions for climate, climate mitigation and climate adaptation. And then the third issue really is around possible geopolitical conflict, it's not over yet, right? So businesses are very much interested and, and want to contribute towards bringing solutions to some of this in the short term. And in the long term, what's really emerged is climate, really top three risks all relate to climate related inaction, uh, mitigation and adaptation, and biodiversity and nature loss is something that's really emerged in the next 10 year horizon. So, and if you look at it, business has a critical role to play not only in the short term about ensuring that the growth is inclusive and in the long term about ensuring that the nature, the climate agenda is strongly acted upon. I understand the risk that have been identified by the World Economic Forum for business, but do people still trust that business can provide solutions? Well, the recent um, Edelman survey continues to show that business is one of the most trusted actors in society, if not the, the most trusted actor. With this backdrop in mind, uh, businesses are continuing to act on several long-term issues. Yes, there are a lot of commitments that are being made and they can be met with actions even more and it can be accelerated. With that said, I think businesses continue to play the role and take their responsibility to drive action because they simply can't afford not to. Their clients are asking for it, the society is asking for it, especially the youth and the next generation demands that they provide solutions to it. And the WEF can seem a little bit, you know, uh, remote also in terms of concrete solutions when people believe that it can provide concrete solutions. So can you help us and give us one example of a concrete solution that is being developed here to push the agenda? One of the ways that uh, I'm trying to sort of bring concrete action on public-private cooperation is on the area of um, common and comparable metrics yeah. for disclosure. So the capital markets really want to see comparable information on ESG. And so one of the specific projects me and my team are driving is how do we help generate a global standards on sustainability reporting? So many of us know the financial reporting has a standard or two standards in the world. Similarly, sustainability, which used to have a plethora of voluntary standards, what's the way to bring together one common global standard? So the work we've done has helped catalyze the International Sustainability Standards Board which is pretty much yeah. setting standards for the world. And equally, a lot of our work is around working with the European Union, the Securities and Exchange Commission in the United States to come together with this Sustainability Standards Board to give the capital markets in the world a comparable way of uh, ensuring that the disclosure that companies make on their commitments to SDGs actually are in fact as true as they claim it to be. Thank you very much. If I may, one last question. Do you think that that work will help, you know, identifying the greenwasher from the rest of the pack? A lot of this is, have to, is going to have to go with auditing and ensuring that it can be assured. So a large part of this disclosure is supposed to help all stakeholders understand the information being reported and, and, and sort of hold companies accountable 
for what they say they are trying to do. So absolutely, this is going to move in the direction of more transparency. Thank you very much, Ramya. My pleasure. Thank you, Ketel.